I'm Larry Walther and this is PrinciplesofAccounting.com Chapter 6. In this particular module we will be looking at the composition of cash and how cash is presented on the balance sheet. First, recognize that cash is typically listed first on the balance sheet due to its liquid nature and its vital status to the organization. Cash includes items that are acceptable to a bank for deposit and free from restriction. That is, they're available to satisfy current debts. Cash typically includes coins, currency, funds on deposit with a bank, checks, and money orders. Certain items that are not included in cash are things like post-dated checks. That is, a check that's dated in the future. It's not yet uh, acceptable to a bank for deposit. Certificates of deposits, which may be deemed by many people to be like cash because it's money on deposit at the bank, but te technically it has certain restrictions on it. So a certificate of deposit is an investment, not cash. IOUs, stamps, travel advances, things of this nature also are not considered to be properly included in the cash account. Also a business may have compensating balances. This would be money or cash on deposit at a bank but it cannot be freely withdrawn. There is some restriction that the bank has on the funds such that it has to be maintained on deposit with the bank. As such, it should not be included in cash. It would be included perhaps as uh, maybe as an other asset or a long-term asset, noting the particular restriction on those particular funds. Also reported separately from cash, probably as a long-term investment, would be sinking funds. Those are monies that are set aside for the eventual repayment of long-term debts or perhaps heavily restricted foreign currency holdings that are not available for withdrawal and, and perhaps bringing back to the home country. Uh, it cannot be easily transferred or converted to another currency. That type of money would not be reported as cash per se. Some companies will include, in addition to their cash, they will include cash and cash equivalents. So it's important to consider the definition of a cash equivalent. A cash equivalent is a short-term, usually interest-earning financial instrument that is deemed to be highly secure, such as a government security that's guaranteed by the faith and credit of a particular government, and indeed by their ability to print money to make good on their obligation and that money has the ability to be converted back into cash within 90 days. So if maturity of that particular investment is within a 90-day window, it might be considered to be a cash equivalent. As I said, many businesses will report cash and cash equivalents on their financial statement. 